This is Pro Floors TV. I am your flooring specialist. Go ahead and start grouting it with a grout bag. So y'all already know this channel. It is a grout channel and we got a grout bag video for y'all. So we're finally gonna get started with the brick wall grout. And we're gonna do that with this grout. So y'all see that this grout is, um, it's actually pretty hard. I think we're gonna make it just a little bit softer. Are you gonna make it a little bit softer? This is fine. I would make it a little softer than this for sure. This is the grout bag. Now you can do it with this, but you just can't put too much because if you put too much, it's gonna be hard to squeeze out. Show, show them what the grout bag looks like. That's the grout bag right there. And so what you do is, it's kind of like you're doing a cake icing. Basically, you fold the top bar, you, you hold down right here where the grout is at. And you can add a little more than that, but I would I would suggest for the grout to be a little softer. And you see now he just squeezed it out, and then you just churn it and let it squeeze out as you put it in. Here we go. You gotta overfill the grout joints so that you basically see the grout sticking out from the grout joint exactly like that. All right, so we had to make the grout a little softer. It does work if it's not that soft, but it's just a little harder to squeeze out. So that's how you do it. Make sure it comes out, out the tie off the surface because there's a certain way that you gotta knock it off. So the grout definitely has to be soft enough to pull out of the grout bag easily. I mean, you can make the grout harder, but you're just gonna have a tougher time pulling it out the bag, which would make no sense. We've done a lot of this grout before. We've done different kind of brick pavers, but the grouting system is the same way with the grout bag. When you're dealing with bricks, you have to do it with the grout bag. I mean, you don't have to, but if you don't do it with the grout bag, it will not look the same. Uh, you'll definitely have more stains on the surface of the brick. What, what happens is you, the grout dries a little bit, right? You make sure that it dries at a, after you put it in the grout joints. And after it dries a bit, we knock it off a certain way, which we're going to show you. Then we go ahead and clean it with a sponge. And what happens is you don't smear the surface of the tile. It eventually gets grout, water grout here. Yes, it will get... Uh, uh, dirty the surface of the of brick pavers, but what's not happening is you're not Smearing the grout on the surface of the paver while the grout is really soft because that's what creates a really stained Grout job so you see how all these little holes you want to keep those free from grout You can even hit this up right now like these Yeah, you just go exactly just like that just like caulking and that's it, that's, what, that's, what, that's how you do the edges. Get them done once and for all. And then just continue grouting. So as y'all see, we already got a pretty big section in a matter of minutes. Bag Grout bags are made, was intentionally made for stone work and brick work, especially brick work. Now, of course, using a grout bag, it uses a ton of grout, it does. But, I mean, what's one or two extra bags? I mean, depending on the size of your job, of course, it's 100% worth it. So, as y'all see, how it's sticking out. And that's perfect. This is, a, this is how you're supposed to do it. All right. All right. Now, let me feel this one. You start feeling it so that you find out what's the right time to pull the grout out and then when the grout's not that sticky and it's and you feel that it's pretty hard so as y'all notice i'm feeling it right here and and it's getting there it's this this is already getting ready when you go to touch it and you notice that it still leaves some kind of grout in on the tip of your finger that means that it's not ready all right so we're back let's see yep it's kind of getting there you see how it's not leaving that much stickiness on my finger anymore so that means that it's good. It's it's basically ready to, basically ready. You know, this, these bottom ones are still a little soft, but up here, you're good. So obviously you start from where you started and you work your way. Let me see, so we're gonna try one of these. 
So I guess you really can't use this. And some other brick, the ones that are more gauged, this would be perfect. But since this one's not, what you want to do is use a Margie trial. Where's the Margie trial? Or you want to use this? You should use a Margie trial, but basically what you do is you start knocking it off like this. Right? And you start knocking it off like this. Softly. You know, just take your time. Kind of work rapidly, consistent. Consistent's important. I've always said consistency is the key. Just work consistent. Now, when you fill them all up, they look like that. When you don't fill them all up, they look like that. Now, however, when you use the sponge, this will get filled. But it, it, it's better whenever you um, fill it in all the way so you don't got to worry about that too much. The margin trial is the best way for this. Alright, so you just use the flat side of it and you hit it. Yep, and so that's it. You use the margin trowel, you, you scrape it all up, and then as soon as you're done scraping it all up, we hit it up with the sponge. Looks good. And then you clean it with the sponge. All right. A quick retake. Now we use the grout bag, we overfill the grout joints, we let them dry, we knock them off, and now it's time to use the sponge. Very important, you have to work every individual grout joint. You smooth them out, make sure the voids are filled. Then you may wipe it off. You work the grout first, and after working the grout, you start wiping it off. Now, if y'all want to use some kind of grout release or seal the, the pavers before you, before you grout, you can. You definitely can. Uh, this one, we did not seal or put any grout release on it. The color of the brick looks just the same as the one on the left. So, there's uh, there's no need to panic. I, didn't need, I did not need to use any kind of sealer. Not for this brick. I mean, this is a pretty porous brick. It doesn't get any more porous than this. You know, everybody does their own. And if they want to uh, take extra precaution steps just to be safe, go for it. You know? So, but as y'all see, no sealer, no grout release, and it looks good. And we're going to show y'all how it looks like at the end. Let me charge my phone up, and that's going to be it for this video, and I hope y'all like it.